one of the most anticipated early season games in IU football history lived up to the bill as the first sold out crowd since 2007 witnessed a heartbreaking 42-35 defeat to the number 19 Michigan Wolverines. Players and coaches were obviously disappointed, but they'll look to take the positive aspects from the game and move forward. Well, I think first and foremost, uh, what you ask your kids to do is give great effort from start to finish. They gave great effort, and you ask them to prepare um, throughout the week for a game, and they did that. So I couldn't be prouder of them, and, and uh, we'll learn from the mistakes and the plays we didn't make, and we'll get ready to go play this Saturday. Yeah, you know, uh, it was a loss. You know, it just wasn't enough. But uh, I think we knew we could play with them, uh, you know, the whole week, and we're confident, and that's where, how we're going to go into every game this year. So um, it just, uh, you know, it's, it's not easy to come in for. You know, Matt Canada, our coordinator, and the offensive staff did a great job putting together a plan that, uh, you know, was effective, uh, you know, really throughout the day. After going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Wolverines, future opponents will realize that Indiana will indeed defend the rock. You just got to keep fighting, you know. It, it's, uh, it's, that's why they call it a game, I'd say, because uh, stuff like that happens. So it is a game, um, but we got to keep, uh, keep working, stay together, and you know, keep working on our finishing games, and uh, we'll come out on top. Yeah, I think we can play with anybody in the nation. You know, we've got to finish, like we've been saying, but um, yeah, I feel like we did a pretty good job tonight, and if we keep moving forward. We... Yeah, one thing I said, I, I think we, our defense stepped up big at the end of the game. I mean, besides the last drive, taking away that pass, but I think there's there some drives before that. I think we uh, rallied together and stepped up and joined and uh, just made, made some plays. Go back to work uh, tomorrow as a staff, and Monday with the team, we'll be fine. You know, there's a bunch of kids, it's a team win and team loss, and uh, you know, we're going to build from it. We're going to, uh, we're going to be a pretty good football team. The Hoosiers will face an even more difficult task next week in the form of number two Ohio State. After leaving it all on the field in Bloomington, Indiana will start to garner serious respect. From Memorial Stadium, I'm Lucas Mayer, IndySportsNation.com.